was born on a farm in a small town, a family farm, and I worked all day, and that was really my theory. Just work, if day lights up, just work all day. So that really was good for me because there was a coach that had to make me do something. I did, did whatever, whatever he said. So I was always a work guy. My name is Stephanie Stoinoff, and I've known Matt for several years now. My brother and him used to grapple starting about 10 years ago, and I met Matt then, but we became very close about four to five years ago. He and my husband are very close. Matt's part of my family. My mom calls him her second son, so to me, Matt's family. On June 16th, 2017, it'll be coming up on two years soon, Matt was involved in an accident where when he was crossing the tracks, his truck was hit by an oncoming train. He suffered a diffuse axonal brain injury, which essentially is a brain shear where the axons of the brain or the nerve cells that allow neurons to send messages back and forth are significantly damaged. Dr. Halpart discussed that Matt, after reading the results of his MRI, Matt suffered a stage three diffuse axonal injury, which is the most severe and the worst. She said that patients that suffer this have what's called locked-in syndrome, where they are basically that, locked in their body. They can understand what you're saying to them, but they cannot verbally communicate. They cannot move. They are locked in their body, in a wheelchair, or in a bed for the rest of their life. I was hit by, by a train, and I was taking some diesel to a farmer's tractor, and that's about, I really have no memory of the day. What type of therapy or rehabilitation have you done since the accident? Physical and speech. And occupational therapy too, but physical and speech are the two big things. Have you seen any improvement from these treatments? I walked uh, didn't you hear me say about the stairs? I walked down the stairs without holding the handrail, which is big for me. Stem cell treatments are not FDA approved or prescribed procedure. Why take the risk and travel outside the U.S.? Because I want to get as good as I can. And really that's it, I'll, I'll do, do whatever to get back to, back to normal. What do your physicians think about advanced stem cell therapy? They all think it's the way of the future. Matt has an Instagram account that uh, he gets on every now and then. He doesn't really enjoy keeping up with it, especially the messages. They can be a little overwhelming. So I'll help him go through them and respond to fans that reach out to him. And I was checking his messages one morning and I noticed a message from BioAccelerator offering him stem cell therapy. I did not share this with Matt immediately because it did sound too good to be true. One of my good friends, her husband is a molecular scientist, so I shared the information with him and just said, you know, what do you make of this? I knew he would He's not an expert in the field, but he would definitely know more about the subject area than I would. So he said, Steph, don't get your hopes up. Stem cell therapy in the United States is really far behind. This probably won't accumulate too much, but I'll look into it. So that was, I believe, a Friday, and he called back on a Sunday, and he was excited. I could tell he had good news to share, and he said, I think this company's out of Colombia, he said, which potentially means better stem cells. And he said, I think Matt should do this. This sounds very promising. He kind of dumbed it down for me where I could understand, you know, I, I knew very little about stem cell therapy. Questions to ask David. So from then on, um, I shared it with Matt. And Matt's first reaction was, when are we leaving? He was ready to go right then. So we set up a conference with David and things just went from there. When you first heard that Bioaccelerator Clinic was in Medellin, what did you think? 
I think the first thing I told her is when are we going? And I love visiting countries I, I've ne never been to, so this is just another step on my passport. I was a little nervous, but I was definitely most nervous about breaking the news to my husband. He's very protective, and when he heard it was in Colombia, he definitely freaked out a little bit. And um, we shared these concerns with David, and David assured us it's very safe. You know, you have nothing to worry about. He gave us several patients to reach out to, to find out from them what their experience was like and if they felt safe coming here. So that definitely assured me and made me much more easy about it. What is your perception now that you have visited? If you don't push me on the plane, I might just stay here. Having been here, I don't have any reservations at all to come back again. It's been amazing. The people here are so welcoming. Matt and I, our Spanish is very, very limited, and people have been so patient with us. You know, when we order anything and we're using our app, they are patient and long-suffering with our lack of knowledge. So we're really enjoying ourselves. The food, the history, everything has been an amazing experience. It was so clean. That town is so clean and the people are so nice. When you come here to South America, you think it's gonna be, can I speak on it? You think a shithole, but this town is so pretty and so nice. Everything has been incredible. Um, every time we're taken to a new restaurant, we'll say, this has been the best meal or this has been the best experience. Last night we went to a restaurant where we just kind of shared and passed food around the table. That was, we felt like a very authentic experience. We're taking a graffiti tour this afternoon, which we're both really looking forward to. I can't say enough good things about it. So what surprised me the most, we heard that we would have to walk from our hotel to the facility where Matt will be treated. So I, of course, thought that meant we'd be walking outside every day back and forth. So what was awesome was that there is a mall connecting your hotel to the facility. So every day, you're just walking through a mall back and forth, which has been very convenient, very safe. Can you describe the process so far? How did you find that process? Everything has been so easy. Besides the fact they shoved a two inch needle in my back, but everything is just really through, through the vein. They gave me stem cells and vitamins through my, my vein. What advice would you give a potential patient when they are thinking about using stem cells? Come here. That's really my answer because this place is so pretty and so the staff is so nice. I would say go for it. We looked into, you know, the pros, the cons, and from what we found from BioAccelerator, the pros definitely outweigh the cons. We were informed by David that the cells here go through many, many series of tests before they are used on a patient and they use the most high quality, um, pure st stem cells, which made us feel much better that this was, these were safe, these are tested. So I would say do your research, but if you're considering BioAccelerator, definitely go for it. The staff has been so welcoming so warm, they love Matt. When he walks in the door, everybody, hi Matt, how are you? They give him hugs and you can tell they care about Matt. They have his best interest in mind. He's in very good hands with the staff here. Yesterday you talked about the MRI results with our neurosurgeon, Dr. Polo. How do you feel about what he told you? Just the fact that it was a stage three, had a stage three brain share and 
He said that's as bad as it gets. I just didn't know I was that bad off. He also said I should be walking, I should be sitting in a wheelchair or table just watching TV. What for you would prove that this first visit and treatments with stem cells was worth it? My desire is to fight again, so if I can fight again, I'll be happy. What additional details would you like to add or talk about? You really hate everything because the staff has been so nice, the food's been good, and you gave me on such a good diet, which I'm sure people like that, but I like to eat good food, and probably too much, but everything's just been perfect. I want to say thank you. This has been incredible for Matt. I think, you know, what is in store for him will be life-changing, and we cannot thank the staff enough. They've been in just incredible. You can tell they care for Matt. Everyone here does. They've been, you know, going above and beyond any question we have. It's answered immediately. They've been amazing. So thank you.